We are here in the Still Life Academy website and the Cinema 4D CGI Whiskey group chat and I've been getting quite a few questions about being able to see things properly in the viewport there are times when things are just not quite visible enough so I'm going to go into a scene and offer you some suggestions so here we are in our Cinema 4D scene and this is the master file I used to create the course and we're at the point where we're just about to make the first render. So all the lights are in there and all the textures are on and things are pretty dark. So were it not for these blue sides that I advised to put on in the beginning of the course, so we went to mode, view settings and view, you get the option there of changing the opacity and the border color. So I normally go for this kind of dark blue but you can go for whatever you want. But what it does highlight is where your kind of uh, screen size is for your output. So were it not for that, we would be thinking that our screen size output was going to be more of a landscape uh, pillar box kind of style. So what do we do about this then? So always my first point of call is to turn the textures off. And you can do that very quickly by just N and Q and N and Q toggle between top textures on and off. So you can see what the difference is there. So already there's some kind of uh, vast improvement there, but still not enough for us to really say, well, I can fully see what on earth is going on. So in each of your viewport panes, you have this display drop down. Now this gives us lots of different options from grad to quick shading to constant shading and lines. So I think the best way to do this is to show you each of these options with and without the textures on and off. So if we turn the textures back on again and quickly go through these, so we already see what garage shading does with the lines, quick shading, quick shading lines, constant shading, and down to hidden line, which is the first one where we actually have a chance of if we wanted to move the camera around to see what is going on and if we go one step further to just lines you don't really get to see what you want to see but hidden line with the textures on is a good choice so let's just go back to garage shading and turn our textures off what difference does that make to the options that we then get to see ah now we've arrived at the point that we really wanted to see. So quick shading or quick shading with lines gives you exactly what you need to be able to do to navigate around, to reposition cameras and to see exactly what is happening. Let's just see what the other ones do. Constant shading, not much use. Constant shading with lines is pretty good. Hidden line again is back to where we were and lines is just a bit too much. So Quick shading with the N and the C is kind of the best one. Now, each of your viewports doesn't have to stay the same. They can be displaying different uh, options from this list. So one doesn't dictate what all of them become, which can be useful again. So just remind you, N, Q, turning your textures on and off. And if you're still not getting what you want, you can just pop down to one of these on your drop down display menu. Okay, hopefully that helps. Thank you.